Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech, and today's video guys will be showing you how to flash a BIOS. Now, in my case, it's going to be my Gigabyte uh, Z97 Dash SLI motherboard, but I will say, in general, most motherboards do have utilities to flash BIOSes, so if you're following this video, and you've got a motherboard that isn't Gigabyte, I will say that it will be very, very similar, and you know, if you have a look in your BIOS and see what kind of utility it is, you'll see that it is, you know, relatively the same. It's relatively, you know, similar, shall I say, you know. Not the same, obviously, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to flash a BIOS. In my case, I'm going to be going from version F3 to F7, I believe. And um, yeah, let's just kind of jump into it. I will say flashing BIOS is something that typically you should only really do if you're having trouble with your own BIOS. But for my sake, I just want to show you guys how to do it. And I will say that typically, I will say from, from increasing um, your BIOS or, or shall I say updating your BIOS, you can typically get better overclocks. And yeah, you typically get more features because that's what they do. They add more features and they add to the CPU support list. So if you guys that, you know, have kind of like a Z87 motherboard and you know you want to use, uh, you know, the latest Intel chips uh, that are on, you know, say LGA 1155 or 1150. By updating your BIOS, you can use them. And typically on the manufacturer's website, they will say, um, we well, yeah, actually have a list of supported CPUs and they'll say what BIOS revision you need to be on. So that's kind of, you know, typical sign as a way you would upgrade. And um, so, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to flash a BIOS. So, first thing is first is going over to the motherboard kind of manufacturer's website and yeah in my case it's CA Gigabyte and yeah just go to the support and downloads page and yeah in my case yeah I'm going to be downloading F7, F8 is a beta BIOS so yeah I would typically stay away from these as they are typically unfinished so you want to download that and yeah once you've actually downloaded that it will typically be a zip file yeah, you want to uncompress this and put it on a flash stick or a flash card or whatever now first up you don't want to format your memory card you need to make sure nothing is on there and yeah once the format is complete you want to be dragging on all of the files that yeah, you extract from the zip file typically you'll have an exe and two other files there we are so you just want to be highlighting these you want to right click them and yeah, you want to click send to and then just the memory card there we are as simple as that and yeah once these are copied over yeah you want to shut down your pc and get into the bios now, typically, yep, turn on my PC, I do need to click here, uh, yeah, the good old jumper Z semi on, since mine actually isn't in a case. Now, once we're in, as you can see, BIOS version is F3, and yeah, I'm going to be upping this to a, yeah, um, F7. So, as you can see on the Gigabyte BIOS, there's something called QFlash, and this is a utility Gigabyte use, and yeah, on here, I'm going to be clicking Update BIOS from Drive, and then on the USB reader, there we are. And then in here will be the three files, the .exe, the .bat, and also the F7 file there, and that's the BIOS. So once you click on this, it'll read the file and say, yes, do you want to update to this BIOS? This is version F7. If so, click the good old yes button, and, um, and then, yeah, this will kind of initiate the procedure. And what it'll do is actually erase the BIOS that you currently, uh, yeah, they currently got on the chip. So it'll erase this, and then once it's completely gone, it'll put the new BIOS on. I will say, make sure you do not turn off your PC, or you will not have a BIOS. It's actually erasing it, and it'll, you know, writing a new one. And anyway, once this is done, it'll restart your PC, and then, yeah, once you've actually restarted, it'll actually boot back up, and as you can see, once man's loaded up there, man, uh, yeah, my BIOS revision now is F7. Now, I'll say, when you do upgrade your BIOS, I will say you will lose all of your overclock settings or anything like this. So, in my case, yeah, I'm going to actually go in and put all these back to what the where. There we are. Not a biggie if you've written all this down, but, yeah, just do bear that in mind. And there we are, look, we're just in Windows 7 there. So guys, that was it. That's how to flash a BIOS. Relatively simple, and yeah, we'll say as soon as you turn off your PC or remove the flash drive halfway through, you won't break your motherboard, and you'll be completely fine. I will say, yeah, do not remove any of the flash drives or anything whilst doing it, and if so, just make sure you got it plugged in to um, get just a power surge protector plug, just so you know your PC doesn't set on fire or anything while doing it. Which you know, you do want to just make sure that your PC doesn't turn off. And I, I know it's kind of impossible to, you know. Can I make sure your electric don't go off or anything? But don't do it during a storm or anything because you know, you know, shit can happen. And if your PC does turn off, well, you kind of won't have a BIOS anymore, and your PC will not boot, and you need to contact your manufacturer, which will suck. Yeah, will suck. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comment section. And as always, yeah, I'll try and get back to as many comments as I can. And um, that'll be about it. Anyhow, catch you on my next video, guys. Goodbye.